Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very interesting today. We are going to show you how you can um, convert your coordinates in UTM to lat long, which means um, from projected systems to what to geographic system. So if you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. So let's say you have um, your coordinates or yeah, you have your coordinates and they are in projected as you can see on the screen, which is um, actually in what your eastern, your northern or maybe your x, your y, z, eastern, northern and height and you want to convert them to your um, geographic, which is actually in lat long. You know, that's what we are going to show to you now. And again, there is actually an application. Look, there is actually a foundation, let's call that, you know, um, we let's call it that rather. We have a video on the channel where you can um, convert or we have shown you how you can convert decimal degrees to degrees, minutes and seconds, right? Good. So the, the geographic coordinates we are going to have here are actually in decimal degrees. So if you want to convert them to um, the GM to degree minutes and seconds yeah the geographic are in decimal degrees if you want to convert them to degree minutes and seconds you can check the description section of this video to see that link and then you can you know watch the video and you know you are good to go so you have your data like this and maybe from whatever source you have it and maybe whatever equipment you would have used you have your data like this and you want to move them towards to geographic um, coordinates so we are now to let's say to a geographic coordinate reference system. We are going to show you how to go about it. So the first thing now is that um, you try to save it as what a CSV file. So you go to files, then save as right. Good. So we are working on a folder called um, UTM to last long. So let's just um, call this um, GIS data because we are going to use um, QGIS to do the conversion. So we have what. We are saving it as what a CSV file, right? Good. So, JS data and then we save. Good. So, with this now, we can now move towards to QGIS, right? Good. All right. Now, on QGIS, we want to what import that, um, let's say, those coordinates or those points we have actually saved as CSV. So, there's a shortcut, um, Control Shift T. That gives you what the data source uh, manager for delimited text or you just go to what you just go to layer you go to what um, add layer and then you come down to what add them um, delimited text layer either way you are good to go right good so you go to what file name good so we now assess what our JS data right good so we can see the file format CSV then um, records and fields okay good then we have what the geometry definition our x is x the y is y then let's also include our z field right good now these um, particular projected coordinate um, projected coordinates or let's say these coordinates are actually in the projected system and then the zone is um, 33 right so let's put this 33 so that's actually the the coordinate reference system, the geometry CRS of this um, set of coordinates, right? Now, this part of the video is very, very important. So, when you're bringing in your, when you're importing those coordinates you want to convert what to geographic, you ensure that you specify the geometry CRS as you are bringing them in or as you are what importing them to QGIS, right? Good. So, these are actually what very, very important. They are not a um, DMS coordinate. So with this, we can just what we can add and then close, right? Good. So our points have been imported. We can just come to properties. Good. Under properties, we can see what UTM and then we can also see what the, the UTM zone, right? Good. So we are done with what importing the coordinates we want to convert. The next thing is now to start what the conversion process, right? So you just do what you right click, then you go to what export, then you click on what save features as right. Good. We are actually exporting it as what a CSV file because that will enable us to see our data, the coordinates that have been what that have been converted for us. Then the next thing is what we give it a name, right? 
so let's give this a um, geographic uh, let's call this a geographic uh, let's call this geographic code right let's just call it that good so this is the geographic coordinates of what those um, projected and data we have earlier then this is also very very important under the crs ensure that you now select them um, wgs which is actually what the coordinate driven system of the geographic world coordinates right good so the next thing is what the geometry we now select them um, xyz very important and i think with this we are good to go right good we are good to go so we can decide to just click on ok good so we have what we already have our layer exported so it's actually on this particular directory so we are going to access it right good so these are the coordinates as they've been converted right good now it's actually interesting or it's actually well presented because with this you can know what each of the coordinates is or look you can know what the conversion of each of the coordinates are so you can just um, create another column here you give this um you give this point and then just say point one point two and then you just try to what or to fill them right so you know that for point one these two are the geographic and then these other okay these three let's say these three because the heights are the same these three are the geographic and then these other three are what the projected four point one you come down to point two you do that for point two you do that for point three until you get to the last point so yours might not be just yours might not be up to this point just one maybe five maybe ten twenty or maybe even more than what we have but the idea is that by the time you bring them to what to QGIS and then you export them out as what the geographic you see your data like this and with this you can just add maybe do, do a few um, modifications to give them a better interpretation of the converted data set you have on your screen so the applications are enormous you know when you have or let's say as you already have your coordinates in what in decimal degrees and you want them in degree minutes and seconds you can check them um, the description section of this video you will see a video on how you can now convert these your coordinates or how you can now um, change or yeah how you can now change your coordinates as they are in um, the decimal degrees towards to degree minutes and seconds and you are good to go so we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem if you have any question if you have any um, suggestion or contribution you can leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you as soon as we can and ensure to um, check the description section of this video to see how you can support the channel you can help us get a coffee you can help us and um, subscribe share the video with your friends your colleagues and you've actually done the best for us so ensure you keep being good at what you're doing and then have the best of time. We are going to see you on the next video. Peace out.